Niall Keaty here for Balbriggan News. I'm just down in Millfield Shopping Centre in Balbriggan outside Cuddle's Pet Store. Uh, Cuddle's Pet Store has been open now through the uh, current crisis uh, due to the fact that uh, pet food and pet, pet supplies are essential items and the shop has been open uh, from 10 o'clock in the morning till 2 p.m. every day and uh, online also at uh, cuddlespetstore.com. So um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to have a chat with the guys about how the business has been affected. I've been going around businesses in Balbriggan uh, doing a series on how uh, the COVID-19 has impacted their business and what, what, what they're doing to uh, help customers and so on. So uh, we're going to go in now and have a word with uh, uh, Jim and Brandon about uh, their store and how they have uh, worked in these challenging times. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll go in and say hello. Right, so here we are now and we are in Cuddle's Pet Store and we're with Jim Wood. And Jim is going to tell us primarily how the uh, coronavirus has affected him and his business and uh, tell us all about uh, what changes have made in the shop and so on. Um, so how has COVID affected you? Um, mostly opening hours. Um, we were looking at, say, if any, every, every hour we're open, um, it's a chance someone's going to pass it on to us. Okay. Um, so that's why we reduced our opening hours because if one of us picks it up, we have to close because everybody who works here is going to wind up in isolation. Okay. Um, we're having a, few, a little difficulty getting a couple of minor things into stock. It's nothing okay. major. They're all the main foods, treats, toys. They're still readily available to bring in. Um, We've seen a huge growth in our online sales, okay. but not locally. That's been coming in from Cork, Donegal, Tipperary, and Kerry mostly. Okay, because you're open from 10 to 2, you, you probably find a lot of local people are actually coming up. Oh, they definitely yeah. are. Okay. Um, uh, and we love seeing people coming in, but we just have to be protective of ourselves as well. All right, so and you have the social distancing and you have the, the we have social floor distancing plans in and place, so on. floor plans out, and... Uh, it like the COVID has really changed business right. in the last month. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that uh, it was just a. But you're doing your best. You're you're, you're getting you're getting it through. You're delivering. You're, you're providing the service, which is great. Um, Agree deal on cuddlespetstore.com. It's free delivery when you spend thirty euro. Okay, that's excellent. Okay, that's good. So to know. we also now our courier. The cur every courier company in this country is currently backlogged. Okay. So deliveries, which would usually have been possibly next day, are now. Could be three or four days but again all right they're trying to hire more people to get caught up and do you uh, do you do a kind of a click and collect as well it can or, be done just yeah. just put a note i will collect okay so that's no problem at all perfect so okay that's great well we'll have a look around then and see, oh, yeah. see, see, see what you have an offer to give you and, an idea a we great stock selection of foods a and huge range of food in stock like um this company canigan their founder used to own a pet store in the uk until Pets at Home opened beside him and shut him down. Uh, so he decided to make dog food and not sell it to Pets at Home. Okay. And it's been a success for years now. Um, a can of, is made in Canada. Again, it's a high meat content food, grain free, no artificial preservatives, colors or flavors. You can buy seven, when you buy seven bags, eighth one's free. You do have to do it at the same time. It's a rewards card. Go Native has been very popular. It's made in Kilkenny uh, by Red Mills. 70% um, meat in the bag and only one meat in the bag. So if it says salmon, it's only salmon. Okay. Uh, well, like if you take the look exactly, at some yeah. of the supermarket brands, it could be 4% of chicken and they don't tell you really any other ingredients. Okay. All right. So you get what you say, what it says in the tin as such. Pretty much, yeah. Or, <coughs> excuse me. Again, we also have a huge selection of wet foods. Um, again, high meat content, no artificial preservatives. Like this one's eighty percent chicken, or if you look at say supermarket brands, four percent right, of okay. whatever meat they're saying. And wow, again, great selection of stuff. Yeah, no, really, really, really good. Uh, Leader is made in Ireland. It's the same company as. Uh, go native. Um, not as high in meat content, but it's all natural, non artificial preservatives, flavors, colors. And again, it's supporting Irish business rather than excellent sending it to multinationals like Pedigree or Bakers or 
Pirine are really good. Okay. And just down here, no, I, well, I don't. You don't need to walk down. You can edit that bit out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we have Burns, James Well Beloved, Royal Cannon, all the premium brands you'd expect in a pet store. Very good, very good. We also have a great selection of toys to keep your yes, dog yes. occupied. Well, Lots and, of and, different and options. How, how do you find our, our, our customers having a lot of, you know, are the dogs getting, animals getting enough exercise these days? Or how, Well, they, they can still be walked. Yeah, so the... the um, do you think they are, you know, they're getting out and about as much as they would? They're probably getting out a bit more. Okay. With well, people good. at home more. So, uh, but uh, it is very easy not to want to, although I did see a great uh, Facebook post, dog on top of a counter. Eight people have walked me today. I'm not going out. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to show us? I'll show you our cat selection. Okay. Um. Uh, It's a fantastic shop like you really do have a great range of stuff and you know oh, you need to now the only thing that's disappointed me with COVID there's, a, there's it's usually a trade show in may in june or may in germany right you say it's been cancelled but it's the world's largest pet trade show and i'd go over to have a look and find the new lines of accessories more so than anything else that i want to bring in and again it's just we have to you have to go out looking for things rather than hoping a rep finds you okay especially when you're an independent business and um okay in our cat section we have a lot of the foods you'd expect to find like whiskers and a little bit of gourmet shiba and a lot of the times we are better value than the supermarkets okay um like our boxes of whiskers are pretty much always 11 euro for a 40 pack okay uh we keep bulk buying again to keep pricing down um like our Shiba 40 packs are 15. I think they're 23 euros in Tesco. Very good. So, Very good. and again, oh, we have a high meat range as well. Of the wet food. Wet and dry. Oh, all right. Uh, like again, Canigan do a, a wet and dry range of foods as well. Uh, Simpsons is another one we have in cat and we also have it in dog food as well. We are range of a great range of uh, activity centers there oh yeah the cats. and we have some over here in an effort to wow make, an, a, they look like great fun <laughs> in an effort to make us um a little bit more brexit proof and i don't want to rely on the uk for stock if it goes horribly wrong at the end of the year we've been ordering stock from germany so they make the most amazing cat wow. <laughs> um Scratchy points. Now, we haven't brought in their full range. We were just picking a few bits and pieces in to they, see if they, they look like fun, all right. Yeah, the cats will love them. To make sure they'd actually sell. And, um, and these are available online, I presume? They are. Excellent. Uh, now, they don't come shipped. Assembled. Uh, assembled. <laughs> they're not, they're not, I, I'm sure they're not too much work to put together. They're... Well, this one takes a bit of time just because there's so many pieces, but it's not difficult at all. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Um, actually some of the, like some of the easier ones to deal with and like the half version of the monster over there. But, uh, good. so again, we're trying to also Brexit proof the business that we don't want to, I can't, too reliant. well, I don't yeah. want to spend all day filling in paperwork for customs <laughs> and it's also incredibly cash intensive because right. if I want to keep a steady flow coming in, I would have to lodge quite a lot of money with revenue that they can take what they need as it's coming through or I can pay as I go and that just adds days to I get you yeah you know, so just a, another item that we brought in that's proven imp incredibly popular is a self-cleaning litter tray oh very good <laughs> I got one for myself to trial it before I brought them into stock I was asking for 129 euros for a litter tray not knowing what it's like okay um, and how does it work Cat gets in. Yeah. There's a sensor. Does his business. Uh, gets out so that it knows it's out. This will push any solid and clumped form into this. This will last about a month with one cat. Okay, very good. So at the end of the month, just lift this up, take out the box, cover it, bin it, put a new one in. Wow. Very handy. And uh, it's not really, like say the ongoing of it is about... It would roughly be about 15 euro a month for the 
a replacement tray, which includes the leather. Very good. I like that the, the, the selling point there. No need to touch, smell, or see the waste. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I know. I'll never clean a leather tray again. And they never bothered me before. Very good. And what about um, exotic pets and the, and the likes? Are people able to keep getting what they need for those guys? Oh, yeah. I I've, I've haven't had any issues getting the... Like I, I, am I right? Have I, have I seen live stuff? Well, we, well, we're here. We're not doing it. crickets. Oh yeah. Well, bearded dragons have to eat. Right. Okay. So other reptiles eat the live stuff as well. Oh, yeah. Good. Great selection of beds there. Really, yeah. Really good. Really good. And then of course, just along here, we have bowls, shampoos, dental. Excellent. Excellent. But, yeah. like, but like I say, for the exotics, we're. I may be short of a couple of decorations, but nothing. Right. But yeah, no, and people are, uh, yeah, I, I suppose people are taking the time now maybe to, to fix up their tanks and like a bit of DIY. Mm -hmm. and Yeah, and uh, yeah, quite quite a few bits and stuff. pieces. So like so all the substrats, bulbs, um, the live foods down there. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Of course, people are still looking after the wild birds this time of year as well, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's probably not as much um, stuff out for boards now at this time of year, and that should be like. Well, there are two lines. Like it is coming uh, warmer, and there is food out there for them. Right. But to, if you want to keep the birds in your garden, yes. you have to keep them. Okay. Very good. Very good. And of course, we have to look after our rabbits, guinea pigs, and hamsters. So all the foods. Uh, beddings, uh, straw, toys. Kind of keeps it. Well, they have to yeah. keep chewing so their teeth don't overgrow. Yeah, yeah. No, I've seen that. I've, 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 a, I've a cousin that has a um, has a rabbit and uh, yeah, the teeth grow. Yeah, they yeah, have to so get they, clipped, or they have to get keep them on the chewies. Now, at the moment, we're not selling fish because we can't social distance. Right. Okay. And they're also not an essential item. Okay. So. Uh, I with a tank we have all the tanks and uh foods uh treatments that's all here as well cool why well, do you think that you've, you've given us a good showing around mm -hmm. that's very good um so hopefully uh you know business will, will will continue to improve and people will you know buy in line when they can't get here but if they can get here they can still come in, come between what is it 10 and 10 and 2, two monday to saturday monday to saturday but we are always reviewing that like if the government really extinct uh, their restrictions we'll probably start opening a bit later great we're just going to follow their lead and just give us again what the website is cuddlespetstore.com cuddlespetstore.com brilliant excellent that's, and that's cuddles pet store now in millfield in balbriggan so uh thanks very much jim that's great mm -hmm. great to see you and great to see businesses still taking over mm -hmm. um and uh, we'll catch up again soon thanks very much see you later thank you